that thing anyway. You need a permit for the connections. There aren't any connections, right. and there isn't propane or, or right. ethylene ethanol, whatever it is. So I believe, at least I was told by the permitting people that I talked to at Lee County, that you don't need a permit for that. Right. And I think it might be whether we're calling it portable or permanent. Well, this is one of those sort of things that's, that might be called portable in the brochure, yeah. but in the end, it's 363 pounds yeah. of stuff locked inside a cabinet and set down right. on the ground. And meanwhile, you'd be a lot of stored in your garage full of gasoline. It's a lot more dangerous within the house. So, I mean, let's let's be realistic about the whole thing. But, like the fire code official. Well, but did, did you check anything about how close something like this could be to the house? Because of the fact that it is gasoline and it's not portable, where you can't How about your move car? It out far, farther away from. How about the your house? car when you pull up in your driveway? Your car can ignite, go on fire, and burn your whole house down. Your propane it's inside. Barbecue. But I didn't check it. No, I didn't know about that. your propane barbecue can burn your house down. This is safer in a steel box, all self-contained with safety switches and all. But then it would wouldn't be. leave that running in the steel box, correct? You'd have to take the cover off in order to put the gasoline in. No, man. It's, no, meant it's got a door. A grill on it's the got side. a door that opens and everything to, to work it. It's a permanent. If fixture. you look at the picture, you see the open. Yeah. Door. I can't look at the picture because I I was looking at this. This is not what it is, and this is not what it is. So it's a little it's hard to imagine what is it. It's the square ones on the other page that I showed you. The cases are just different. It's a square case. Did you say this? Yeah, but he's talking about the, the series of pages he, he had with the picture of the, of the box unfinished, right? That's no, there is no pages in the box. No, no. The, yeah. the, as we passed around, it showed what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is that? The, the those? eight and a half by 11. It's on the yeah, well, I have that. Oh. Yeah. But that, that's not something, is that something you built or you... Yeah. Um, I didn't build it. I had it professionally done by a structural engineer. And so it, 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 the box itself is approved. It's got its license. The structural engineer did it and everything. So. Well, as a board, do you have any more questions? The only, like I say, well, I'll start down the data. We either, um, Approve this, or whatever else the board may have to say. Unless you want to table it and make sure that the safety stuff is right until next month, and then we can to make sure that if this, if this if that's I, I would correct. suggest that, I mean, I don't have enough time to fight this all month. Hell, I can't imagine you have much time. Um, it would seem to me like we ought to accept it or reject it, whatever you guys want to do. And then put a contingency on it that it, you know, if it, if the fire uh, codes require it to be placed someplace that's not acceptable, that you know we'll have to work on that issue. I mean, that you can't do it next to the house if the fire code says you can't do it next to the house. So put that contingency on, on it if you approve it. If you reject it, it doesn't make any difference. George, it'd be no different than firing up your lawnmower and sitting next to your house. No different. If it wants to ignite or burn up, it's going to go off and okay. it's, well, then, it's going to then, burn up your house. I think the whole thing is that we all agree that anything can blow up or That's catch right. fire or, or right. do whatever. But I think right now it, the, 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 the basics is, is the, the way this unit is, if there is any kind of a safety code issue, we need to know that there isn't any. There isn't. Now, if you want a safety code issue, that's those two tanks sitting in the ground right now. That's a safety code issue. Well, if we someone should get those knew addresses about that, so we can they should have told yeah. the board so we could have addressed it. Yep. You know those addresses. Yes, I do. I have pictures, too, of them. Well, that's fine. If you would send them to the Not management problem. company, I, we'll make sure that we take care of it. I we can can't take here. care of anything if we don't know about that's it. That's no problem. I can do that. So, <laughs> and, and basically, you're saying that if this if, if the board approved it with the um, with the
the contention that it was within the safety, according to the county or whatever, as far as the closeness of the house or et cetera, and that you would surround it by yeah, say buttonwood, something like that, so it would not be visible from absolutely, the street. Absolutely, I have no problem with that. Matter of fact, I'll even do this, Georgia. I'll call the fire marshal out to my house and show him what I'm gonna do and let him sign off for me. How's that? Okay. Okay. Then, then why don't we do it this way? Uh, resubmit this, talk to the fire marshal, resubmit it, and we can vote on it at, at the next month's meeting. We, we obviously have enough information from you concerning this, whatever it is, as long as we don't make a wrong decision concerning uh, fire code, safety code, hey, listen, anything like that. I can do this too. I can do this too. Make it easy if you want. I can have the unit brought over and I can sit it right where it's going to be and you're more welcome to come over and everybody look at it if you want. Well, I don't think that's a, the, the problem. The I problem think I think is if there's any kind of a safety issue here at all or a code <laughs> violation that we need to know what before we make a decision. So if that's all right with you, we will table this until next month. You've already agreed that if it passes, there's no code violations, there's no safety issues. So if there's no safety issues and they say it's fine, so are you pretty much telling me then that it's a go? Well, I, we haven't taken a vote on the, uh, with the board yet. So how does the board feel about that? Sign off on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll call. I'll call the uh, fire marshal and just tell him what I have, show him, and then if he uh, says, "Okay, I need this for my association," please sign a piece of paper or something. For and him. then you're willing to sign off the, the fact that it, well, he'll sign it, you'll sign it, and you'll also sign off on the fact that you will surround it with the um, bushes. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay. I have no problem with any of that. What do you say? Go over okay, then we'll take this till next month to get all the particulars that we make sure that we have all the safety issues covered, okay. and we will bring it up again next month for a further vote. Okay. In the meantime, I'll get all that information in the papers in for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. month so she gets um, everything signed off so we make sure that we're approving something that's that's with this safety we should do safe yeah safety absolutely okay now we will collection updates I think we need to um, go through the um,